Edwin Jagger DE89 and it's a beautiful razor. I have used this since January. It's been one of the razors that's been in my rotation. Um, so this unboxing is just to show you what it looks like to unbox this razor. There we have it. They normally also have a feather blade in there, but I've obviously used it. So it comes with some instructions in there and they talk about their different products. And that my friends is the razor, very beautifully knurled. It's got Edwin Jagger imprinted on top there. It is a close comb three piece razor and is perfect if you are new into the DE world or whether you're experienced. Super easy to load your blade in there and perfectly balanced as well. The blade we're going to use is an Astra blade. I have used this once, so this will be the second time I use the blade with the razor. Nice and easy. Drop the blade, the plate on top, and then just tighten it. Make sure the edges of the blade are perfect. And that's it. It's all loaded up and it's ready. So I purchased the razor from Beard and Blade. Their website's beardandblade.com.au. If you are watching this video, I will give you a promo code at the end of the video, which basically will give you a 10% off on any products you buy from Beard and Blade. They were also nice enough to give me some sample shaving creams. So today we're going to use the Taylor of Old Bond Street Grape Fruit Shaving Cream. The other products we're going to use today are Perazzo's Pre-Shave Cream, Beulah's Silver Tip Badger Brush, and to finish off, Nivea Men's Sensitive Pore Shave Balm. So let's get going with the shave, guys. The Edwin Jagger DE89, that's the razor we're going to use today. So I'm just gonna apply some more warm water on my face and get the whiskers ready to go. Make sure I've got full coverage of water on my face. And I've just had a warm shower, so that's prepared my skin well enough anyways. All right, we're now gonna rub some pre-shave in there. And just rub it nice and deep in the beard. So the facial hair is about four days now. So that's the pre-shave all applied. And now let's get lathering. All right, so you can see, I'll take out all the extra moisture and go straight into this. This definitely has a great scent to it. it. Smells like grape. So that's a fair amount of lather on my face now. So guys, if you need to try out different scents and different soaps, they actually have a pack of 16 different soaps um, and it's a sample pack. It's normally about $50, but if you use the promo code in there, I've done something a little special for my viewers. Um, on the website for Beard and Blade, at the end of the purchase where you get to enter your promo code, 
enter the name of my channel, AliDZ, and that'll give you 10% uh, off straight away. Thought I'd do something special for you guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll try and get more promo codes for you, shave enthusiasts, and try and see if I can get some more brands on the channel as well. So ready for the shave now. Let's go. The first pass is with the green. And here we go. Four days worth facial hair, nice and easy, just gone. Once you get used to the double-edged razors, it's really difficult to use your cartridge razors, I must say. So I've sort of moved away from using cartridge razors on a regular basis. I still use them, but I'll use them when I'm basically trialing a new product or when I'm in a hurry. Um, as long as you're using good quality reasons, I guess that's all that matters. All right, so that's pretty much the first pass done with the green. There's still a lot of um, pre-shave slickness I can feel on my skin. So I'm going to use the lather it smells really fresh. Lather it very quickly as well. Right, so next pass we'll go cross grain and that should take off any areas and spots that I've missed. I go really gentle on my neck because that's the spot I tend to get weepers on a very occasional basis. A 
Okay, nice and clean. Now let's go. Okay, beautiful. Get the chin done. No pressure whatsoever, guys. No pressure whatsoever. That's almost a clean shave. I mean, I can't, I can't fault this razor whatsoever. So that's almost a clean shave, guys. So we will do one last final pass, which is going um, against the grain. Now, if you have sensitive skin, avoid shaving against the grain. Um, I'm not gonna use any extra soap as well. I'm gonna try and use the same lather that's just been sitting on the brush. I don't like a lot of lather as well. That's just my style. Um, some people like a lot of lather on the face. I just need enough cushioning with a nice thick consistency. Something like that. And I'm a little OCD with the lather dripping off either the brush or my neck. And hence, I don't go lathering extremely heavy or watery. Just keep the right amount of balance is what works for me. Uh, but shaving is very personal, guys. And so are your preferences. So. You know, whatever works for you, respect, respect. All right, let's go with the last pass against the grain. Okay, here's where I'll get a lot of Feedback. See that? crazy how much facial hair comes off when I'm shaving against the grain. It's all hidden, it's all hidden. Um, now my mustache area is specifically more, I guess, sensitive so I'm not going to go against the grain on the mustache area 
I'm just going to go side gray, sideways again. But because I've done one with the grain and cross grain, I'm going to go the opposite direction. Okay, check for any missed spots. Mm -hmm. I felt that. Okay, and that's it. I'm gonna wash my face off, make sure there's no soap, there's no residue. All right, so I've just put some cold water on my face to close off the pores. Um, but as you can see, it's a nice clean shave. Just gonna dab my skin off with the towel. And finally, the post shave, which is a Nivea balm. a little bit so during winter is when I like using the balms and during summer I go more alcohol based spirits and aftershaves from a hygiene point of view make sure you also pull the blades out and the three piece apart let them dry separately just to avoid any sort of corrosion. And like I said, just to keep things hygienic. So that's a nice look at the razor one more time, guys. If you are interested in buying razors, shaving products, soaps, brushes, check out Beard and Blades website. They've got a massive range of products. This is as usual, not a sponsored video. So I'm not getting paid for this at all. This is my honest review. My honest opinion i just thought i'd do something special for you guys and i've organized for a promo code for all my viewers at the end while you're buying from beard and blades website enter the promo code aldz a l l y d z which is the name of the channel and you'll get 10 percent off your full purchase also make sure you don't share the promo code on third-party websites and channels because if it's shared too much it'll basically be taken down and the rest of the guys will lose on the discount so do the right thing. If you are interested, check out their website. I'll leave a link in the description below. Make sure you smash the like, subscribe, and the share button. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next time with a new review. In the meantime, stay safe and stay blessed.